Hey, what's up guys, and welcome back. We're here with another part of our Nervi campaign using the Davide et Impera mod for Rome 2. And in the last episode, if you haven't seen that one, we took out Vesontio, um, the capital of the Sicani who are down here. And they're in a real rough spot right now. I mean, they, they're they like very low on like troops. They've got a lot of um, spears and some of these uh, berserkers, but that's about it. They've got nothing really, anything cool. We may go and take them out. That uh, is maybe the next job um, after we've well sorted out our uh, our own army and our we've got a bit of a uh, population well not, you know a bit of a unhappiness here we'll let that sort itself out it also look like we're gonna have a rebellion here or it looked like we were gonna have a rebellion now this army just garrisoning itself here is sort of like keeping that at bay and that is fine so anyway, I just want to thank you for all the support recently on this Let's Play. Let's keep it up with more uh, with the likes and the comments. And if you haven't already, then do subscribe to the channel. And let's try and hit that uh, 1100 mark. Um, because I'm th we're pretty close and I think we can do it. But yeah, so I think we can end the turn. There's not much else we need to do. There's not really anything we can build. Um, oh, well, we can build here, actually. Um, yeah, why not? Let's get that. And then we could put this in uh, could do I mean we, we kind of need food we are kind of starving a bit but it's not that major I'm gonna just leave it like that how, how it is um, but I mean this obviously this army being out here is not great either for food but yes we'll end the turn and we'll see what happens so I hope you're all staying well and uh, and safe and stuff like that. Obviously, with like the whole like coronavirus thing, I know everyone's bringing it up. But I mean, I mean, I've now got plenty of time on my hand because uh, my uni has basically decided to uh, shut itself down. All the lectures and stuff like that are now going to be online, so I have no re reason to leave my house, uh, which is always good. So it means I can have spend more time on making videos for you guys. Um, so hopefully, yes, we will have more battles and more let's plays. Uh, for the foreseeable future anyway. And who's declaring war on me? These guys who don't actually have a border with me. But, and all my allies may join. Yes, and they all did, because they all love me. So what fools they were for just declaring war. They may try and go through the boy, but uh, I'm not really too fussed about that. They've got plenty of armies around here, it seems. Um. Looks like, oh, okay, this faction here won in that fight. That's excellent. That means it leaves another friendly face to the north. So I might go and, might go and take out Frisia next. Um, mainly because, like, I don't really want the Germans getting it. I think it's part of the region that I need to control. Um, if not, then I'll just take it because it's got fish. And who doesn't like fish? If you don't like fish, then you're a bit weird. Okay, we've had a child born, and there's been a great fire. Where was the great fire? Where, oh, there's been a lot of factions destroyed. Okay, that faction which was my ally is gone, so that's not so good. Uh, where was the great fire? Tulliferdum. No. That is not good. There will be a rebellion here now, then. Let's just repair all that. Um, yeah, faction encountered these guys, who I don't really know. Concealed army. Okay. Oh, there's a concealed army here. Was it? Oh, this one. Okay, yeah. I don't really care about that. It's nowhere near. Nowhere near my lands just quite yet. Um, probably should do something about some military because, like, I'm really... I haven't gone down the whole military idea yet. Um, really been just pumping out food and stuff like that. But I found my military is just perfectly fine right now. But I will... Um, I guess I have to do that one to go down here. To then carry on down here. But I'm not really too fussed. Um, I could do war dance, but I'm not really too fussed about that. A headhunt. We'll do a headhunt. That's going to bring down the upkeep in mercenaries and the upkeep in my army. And we have a few mercenaries in the army, so that will always help. We're bringing that down. Um, what are... Th Still, this is going down every so often. That is fine. We will sort that out in time. Then they're at war with the Carnutes. So they are two enemies of ours... Well, not two enemies, but two people that don't really like us. Um, so, we probably want to try and strengthen our relationships down here. And certainly, 
Well, we're looking really strong around us. Everyone really likes us. I could do with getting something with you, but apparently you just don't want to have a, any sort of association with you. You also hate... Oh, no, you, you, of course you hate these guys because you're at war. Massalia, yeah, you hate everyone. Okay, I can see you for some reason. Um, Not opposed to something with you, but no, apparently you don't want to do anything. Uh, defensive alliance, yeah, you wanted one, but you wanted to give me... You wanted money off me. Um, you kind of like us. Hmm. Just trying to get some more friends. You know, can never have enough. Yes, it doesn't seem like there's going to be any anytime soon. I don't have any military allies yet, so imagine a military ally and then it'll become a confederation. But yeah, you're at war with them, so I do kind of want to move this army. You're still... Are you starving? Oh, you're just like, I guess it's because you're in the open. I guess this is just starving. I don't know. Don't tell me a plague or something either. Uh, no, it doesn't seem like there is. No plague here. Well, I'm going to ask you to come out with that formation. Or that stance, I should say. Can you not do it this turn? No, clearly not. But I can get you to recruit stuff. Because I want you to then start marching on the Frisians as soon as possible. So I'll get uh, two two more range and I'll get some uh, some of these cheap swords. Okay, we can only recruit two stuff here. Well, it looks like it's going to be range stuff then. I guess we could always recruit these uh, mercenaries if needs be. So we'll end the turn, I think. Again, I could move on. I could move down here, move on uh, them. I guess I probably should best move on these guys as soon as, rather than later. Octoduron. Yeah, I don't really need to control Retea and whatever, but it'd be better to. I guess I controlling uh, Magna Germany isn't the worst thing in the world. Right, yeah, did we have kids? Yes, this guy had a little boy. He had a little boy. Right, anyway, you can... I guess... Yeah, just take that. Uh, what can you do? You can do something, but I'm not too fussed about any of that. Hmm. I don't really care who becomes my heir, just quite yet. Probably should be you, because you are actually my natural born son. But no one really cares. Let's look at missions quickly. There was... Right, so I need control. I've got Germany Minor, Britannia, Latium, uh, it's all those basically. Belgica, which I'm going to try and hold. I'm pretty sure I've got to hold Belgica in. Actually, I need to hold Belgica taking a military victory. That is mad. Um, this one, it wants me to ha hold that. This region, which I do have a lot of allies in. And I do actually hold a little bit of. Uh, and then that one's definitely not going to happen because I've got to get all the way over to Sarmatia. This one, again, I mean, the first I need to really go is Swabia and Thrace. Which actually is quite a long way. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. I do kind of need to go east uh, in some form or another. So taking Octodoron wouldn't actually be a bad thing. And then we could go into Italy if needs be. Just to open up another way of expansion. Um, so we will end the turn, I think. And we will see what happens. We're down to two food, which is a bit worrying. But that can be sorted out as soon as possible. We'll probably take Octodoron. We'll probably... Stay there for a few turns and sort everything out. And the rest of the realm. And we'll probably also start our war with the Frisians in the north soon as well. As soon as... um, Well, basically... This end turns over. We also need to keep an eye on the, the Lu... Well, the, the basically the Lu guy, but... They've changed their name to like the Lu gods or something like that. So it's a bit... A bit strange... Why they did that, they had a perfectly good name. But oh well. We'll get on with it. Here we go, they're moving away. They're abandoning Istros, it would seem. And it looks like there's a rebellion, yes, as expected. So I'm going to have to send that army that was recruiting it to go and invade the Frisians to go and destroy this small army. Over here, get itself some free... Experience, I guess, but not really wanting that. Yeah, there you go. Rebellion to the Firdom, desertion, and there's a food shortage. And pirates spotted. 
of Camadon. Interesting, right. Well, no income, wow. Yeah, food shortage, I presume now that uh, people will hate us because of our food shortage. They hate us. Uh, now if I leave this land and I go into here, then I should sort out my food shortage as well. And you also have a large army. And you're going to be up a, you're going to be at a 17 stack at the end of this turn. Plus another 12, but they're already a bit weak, so I'm not too fussed about them. Faction rises. Uh, a faction there. Ah, another army has shown itself. Okay. I presume you'd kill them. Alliance forged. Oh, these guys and boy, that's good. So we're making a sort of a pact over here. Unseasonal conditions. Well, we're sorting it out. So hopefully we can rebuild our food sources as well because, well, this one really especially needs sorting out. Um, yeah, you get a move on. Get over there. Uh, do I really want some mercenaries? They are quite good, but I don't know if I really want them now. They probably have a large army, so I'm going to hope that these guys can take them out. Or do a lot of damage. Veteran Swordsman. I wouldn't even know how to pronounce that name, but hey. Um, yeah, and I don't see much else I can do. Rome will be down here somewhere. It'll probably be very, very strong, I imagine. They look like they took Magna Grecia for themselves. So that's not a good sign. Um, at all. But I just really want... I just want more food. <laughs> I just want more food. More population to build this food. Anyway, we can build this. This is good. So this is put... Uh, give us pluses in public order. And in sanitation. And in growth. Um, these all look like they're going to give us pluses in sanitation. This will give us plus one in growth just generally. So I'm going to go for this one. It's going to bring down my taxes a little bit. But my money is okay. Regional growth, doing just fine. Okay, so we'll see what we can do here. I mean, public order's not awful. It's plus one at the moment, which is actually pretty good for us. Just do with you getting over here and doing some damage. Why aren't you recruiting then? Oh, short of population. Don't seem like you are short of population, but okay. And yeah, we could definitely do with taking this region just to help with the population, I guess, as well. Get some more growth going. End the turn. Hopefully we get a battle in this uh, in this episode. I mean, they might get some more troops and this might be worth it becoming a battle. But, I mean, imagine, imagine with the garrison here as well, it probably won't be the case. Imagine it'll be a very much... A very simple result. I wonder if we'll go and see these guys. Um, I've forgotten what they're called, but go and take out the Frisians. Good if they did, in a way, because then it means that this faction over here is just like that was threatening me is now long no longer a problem. But I would really like that for myself, and I don't really want these guys to have three settlements to my north. Here we go. It looks like these guys are just going to wander around and rebuild stuff. It looks like the boy also having lost a lot of troops, so. They've clearly had some fights. Ah, excellent. Right. They've scared off the rebels, but not very much. Ah, here we go. A battle. Excellent. Excellent. Right. It looks like we're going to have a pretty good one here. Have they got any cavalry? No, they don't. And I have two units of cavalry. So we will fight this. And I will see you guys on the battlefield for what could be, well, decides who wins uh, this war between us and the Sakani. So, I will see you guys in a moment. Okay, so we are back on the battlefield, and we're going to go with the usual plan of skirmishes. Oh, of skirmishes out front, and then we're going to get those ones as well. Get our jabbies as well. Um, have them in skirmish mode. We'll have our main line of swords. These, uh, I've forgotten what they're called. Club de Bro or whatever. They're just, they're just swords. And then we'll have our berserkers in behind in reserve with our... General in behind there. We'll have our spears on the flank, even though there's no need for them to be. Because they have no cavalry. Uh, and, oh, we've got, what else we've got? Uh, oh, yeah, we have our own cavalry. And we have the other the other spear. So there we go. Uh, have that spear like there. And then we'll have all the cavalry, I think, on the right today. And we'll start the battle. And let's go and find these guys. Let's. 
let's go and find these guys. I want those spears as well, please. Go to about here. That should be fine. Into the open. Cavalry up to about there. Enemy feeling... Well, that's good to see. That's good to know. I can't see them. But it should be fine. I mean, most of the infant, most of the uh, their infantry is trash, as I just bash my knee on my desk. What are these guys? What Cantor knows and um, what a name? I mean, they got some good. I mean, they hopefully these are genuine names because they got, got some good names here, Gallic, Gaelic, or whatever. I don't know, but uh, my cavs definitely found their entire army. Um, we might want to just. Hold our line like here. Now, looks like they're gonna just quite happily come forward. Yep, I know, I know, sir. We have found them. Where are those spears? These spears, to be honest, could actually go further wide, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna just get them to come in like so. Um, can you start focusing these guys down, please? What have they got? That's pretty nasty. I don't want to see you. Go away. Focus down their archers. Oh yeah, actually yeah, we can send in the Berserkers first, we can send in everything first. We should really get the charge on them. Um, actually, go in there please. Um, send these boys in, send these boys in. Send these guys round the flank. You just hold back there and you can go in as well. How many swords do I have? More than I thought. Put it like that. Put it like that. More than I thought. Not quite sure why my archers aren't running. Oh, here we go. They're running now. Excellent. They're breaking. You can go in there. What are you? Is this a... Oh, this is a... Um... They look so much smaller. There's still 200 of them in a unit, but that's a lot less than I thought. Cavalry can just go inside here. Spears, you can come inside. Archers, just keep focusing down their archers. Here comes a general with the rest of their army. Should be fine. And there we go, we've basically encircled them already. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, these spears, we can't, we're we going to need you at some point. Um, yeah, because that's a, just a really cheesy move by them. Keep him away, right. Uh, let's just charge into back of here. You charge into here. Oh, gosh, my cavalry's going to take a few hits there. Yeah, that's my cavalry throwing javelins that I don't think it really should have. It's already overpowered enough. Okay, those guys can stop firing there. Um, start firing over here or something. Yeah, that's basically the first army broken, which is the one that we all had to be scared of. Um, everyone else, they're just going to be a walk in the park. Uh, just send the general up, you know, why not? Why not? Uh, cavalry, come over here. You come over here. And you just guys, just go and run them down. Run these guys down. Can you just hold there? Get in there. And we're good to go. Just, I don't know, shoot these guys for the fun of it. We might as well run down as many as possible because we're going to have to fight them otherwise in the... Uh, city itself, and I don't really want to have to do that. If, if it's all possible. Uh, let's all get up there and fight the general. They're all making a nice long chain for us to just shoot in. Don't even know what they're doing yet. Just go and fight these guys over here. Spears can kill them. Well... Are these guys really going to chase them? Wow. Yeah, just run all these guys down. I don't even want... I don't even want any of them left, please. Okay, we're losing a few cavalrymen, but I'm not even too worried about that. Uh, can we send some stuff around so we're not blobbing? Actually, no, you go in, because you're clearly already there. Go around the sides. Go around the sides. Uh, 
Oh, we've been caught. What have we been caught by? Uh, we really shouldn't be fighting this. There we go. They break already. Perfect. This cavalry is doing absolute ham. Hopefully we can just, like, break these guys quickly enough. Are they going to break? Come on, come on, come on. Wavering. Let's just pull through. Chase these guys. Come on. General, pop off a thing, pop off a rally as well, because why not? One of our units has used all its ammunition. One of our units has used all its ammo? Oh, what a shame. Oh, those cavalry are going to get beaten up. Just keep breaking these guys, come on. Focus on their general. There we go, they're slowly breaking. They are slowly breaking. Just need them to stay broken. Shoot these guys all the way back here. Really do send the cavalry in here, but don't really want to risk it just quite yet. There we go, everything's breaking for them. Come on, we can kill this guy. We're killing... Oh yeah, this is cavalry's... Yeah, th th this is all going to break now. That was easy. Sakani are basically done with then. We don't need to worry about them just yet. Um, cavalry, you might as well just roam in here and just get some kills. Oh, there we go. Enemy general is dead, so these guys will break with no problem. These guys are going to try and hold the line. What stupid men. Gallic Slinger's just like, yep, we'll hold the line. We'll do this. Uh, you might as well go over there just kill these guys. Oh, they have some berserkers of their own. Well, we won't be allowing that. They look pretty beaten up, though. They do look pretty beaten up. Yeah, they're going to go in here and they're going to come out. Come on, come on, come on. Break these guys. Don't really want my cavalry just to die to spears that it has no need to die for. Yeah, just go and kill these guys. Let's watch Berserker v Berserker. I mean, these guys are broken bloodied. They ain't going to stand to these ones. Yep, and they just <laughs> go in waving their swords. What idiots. There we go. We'll continue the battle for a little bit. Run some of these guys down. Cavalry, go and get them. Uh, actually, they're going to get them. Come on, you can get these guys. And then we'll just speed this up for the sake of the battle. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Cavalry, get as many kills as possible, please. Like, catch some of these guys. Our hidden units have been discovered. Thank you. Kill some of these guys, finally. Oh, there's so many of them going to get across the line. That's annoying. I mean, these are just like the rubbish stuff anyway that's going to defend the garrison. The, uh, I think the main army basically got wiped out. Excellent. Kill these guys. Gallic tribesmen. Yep, they're all dead. Very nice. We'll end the battle there. A heroic victory. And we will... Uh, I will see you guys back on the main campaign map in a moment. Okay, so we are back on the campaign map. I was about to say battlefield, but no, we've just just come from there. And we've killed a lot of this army. Yeah, lots of that's dead. So I'm just going to execute what's left, take a bit of wealth from it. But we don't really care about the wealth. We just want to kill them and take the settlement. So that's what we'll do. So that will be our next plan. It looks like our spy is back. I didn't realize. I think that happened last turn. Not that I've really been using him to great effects, but we'll probably use him to go and spy and see what's further south. See where the Rome is strong. Or not. I imagine not. Tinkomaris. You gotta level up. That's very good. Um right, so Tinkomaris down here, my king! Shall take Octodoron, and I'll probably also resolve this one. Yeah, this is I mean, actually it's not great odds for us apparently. I think I could take this with less problems, but I'll I'll just auto resolve this one. 
There you go. If I lose any units, I'll be a bit miffed. No units lost, a few beaten up, but we'll occupy that. And... There we go, that's all ours. This is a pretty good settlement, I won't lie. Um, certainly don't really have a lot of food, though, here. We could do with changing this to maybe a food place. Um, oh, because I don't know really what this is giving me. It's giving me growth, it's great, but I don't need growth right now. I need food. So I'll take that. Um, this is not doing anything bad for food. This one would be... Hmm... Don't know. I'm gonna hold that, hold on to that just for now. But I don't really want that. I'm gonna move you down south. Go and have a look at Rome. That was the plan. Looks like Medland's doing pretty well. It seems like it's got two or three settlement. Oh, like slots. Yeah, and they've also got a large army. That's it. That's interesting. Then let's see. Well, we should we should find Rome then in the next few turns. Can we make any? No, we can't make any uh, alliances, it would seem. Oh, they're at war with Roma, the Lug uh, Liguria. Liguria. Interesting. Um, the Nori. Uh, we can't offer you anything that you would love to give us. Um, these guys. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Nope, still nothing. Still hate us. But they are now at war with these guys. So, it looks like... Yeah, look at that. They have not got any friends, really. Um, so, that's perfect. Let's go and deal with that rebellion next. That is the next job on the list before we wrap up this episode. So we can reach this turn. This actually could be a battle that might need to be fought. Oh no, they're just going to fight and die here. 89%. That's what we like to see. Um, so I am probably going to move this army to Tully Ferdum just to save on the food. Let's just kill them. Can they reach? They can. And, yeah, but because of that, we actually sort out our food problems. Um, so that's good. Um, I'm going to... How, what, how beaten up is this army? It's a bit beaten up, but it shouldn't be too bad. I will probably put in a... Hmm. Go with Ferocious Warrior. Ferocious Warrior. Oh, and you got another one. Okay. Um, have... Have Trained Swordsman. And I could build some troops. Looks like they can't get a lot of stuff though. Not enough available manpower. So it's only the small. Actually, no, these are still the same size units. Um, I can see why I rely on mercs a lot more then because that doesn't actually damage my manpower. I will put in a merc unit, and I will build. I would like some cav in this army, but this is not cav. This is baggage train. <laughs> God. Um. So does this basically a baggage train can supply armies even under harsh weather and vital for that this uh, unit is immune to snow attrition and courage? Hmm. Um. So does this sort out food? I don't know. Can anyone tell me that? Does a baggage train sort out like just take away from the food surplus? I'm not really sure. If it does, then I might need to put some in my armies. Um. I mean, these guys don't look like they've got any in their armies. So they're clearly not too concerned about them. Um, but I will probably just hold it there on recruitment. I don't really need this to be a full stack just yet. It would be nice have that as a full stack, but we're not, no need really. We're also surrounded by so many friends at the moment that I don't need to actually like have a huge army to maintain all this land, which is nice. We're up to one, two, three, four, five, six settlements now. Still haven't taken this one, but I'm sure we can take this in time. Uh, the Antrobarts, will they... Oh, they might join my confer... Ah, right, so can we get them to join our confederation? Oh, no, let's offer. Probably better to offer. Oh, hi, okay. Let's see how much we can get it for. Okay, this is going to be cheap. Okay, I'll get it for... I'll take it for that. There we go, they're now part of my confederation. And we've expanded. And that's hurt the economy even more. <laughs> oh, God. Um, I don't really want these armies... Can I disband? Yes. Can I disband? Yes. Let's sort out this army. Trade agreement dissolved. My army has or Imperium has gone up. Do I now am I now at war with them? 
No, but no, that's fine then. I'm not at war with who, anyone they were at war with. Uh, I don't really want any of this. Let's just disband all of that. And there we go. We've now got ourselves an entire region. Um, import food. Yeah, they have no food to import. Um, I guess we go with growth. Migration. And we put in... Or do we go with... Hmm, actually, do we go with one that helps the public order? Um, possibly. Possibly, possibly. Hmm. No, it should be okay. We can put that in and we should be fine. It's going to take a few turns for that to be sorted, but that could be okay. We are now going to be in a lot of problems with food. But hopefully we can get them sorted in the next few turns as well. Because this one, I mean, this one's a long way off being finished, actually. Quite a few of these are a long way off being finished. I'd like to convert this one then to maybe to that one as well. Get another field in. Yeah, we'll do that. Get that one in. should help with the whole situation but yeah there we go guys that's probably where we're gonna wrap up this episode we are now what well, we're now Gaul we're now called Gallia Gaul, Gaul I don't know can we add any of you? yes we could ask other people to join the confederation if they wanted to I presume you don't like that with me expanding my my borders like that I don't know actually no you all seem to be fairly still happy with me even though I did that um but yeah, I think that's where we're going to wrap up this episode. If you've enjoyed and you want to see more of this Nervi campaign, please do leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, Legionnaires, 